Caddis Maximus Mirror. Some people may recognize this. I picked it up for five dollars. It was just a set of uh, digital calipers. It's Titan, but I don't think this is the same as the common automotive and hand tool company rebrander, I should say. Uh, Titan Tools, and maybe it is, and maybe this is just an old set where they had a totally different logo. But I suspect this is just another tool company called Titan that happens to be digital calipers. And so that's part of why I wanted to make the video. I'm just doing this real short. These are definitely better than Harbor Freight Pittsburghs. I've been using these Pittsburghs as my beaters. Now they'll be my super beaters. They have kind of a uh, small display, real plain. This portion always gets loose, not even serialized. These Titans are just a little bit better because we can see that the primary numbers are large and then only the smaller numbers are in small print, so it's a little bit easier to read. They also have a serial number on them, so they're at least attempt to be <laughs> good enough to serialize. That's the easiest way to put it. And they definitely seem to run smoother. I don't know how old these things are, but they I've checked them. They certainly calibrate just fine. They zero properly. When you put it in metric, or excuse me, when you uh, hit the button, they have another function, which is something that's a lot better than the Harbor Freight, which is uh, inch fractional. And it'll go as small as 128, which is a pretty tiny fraction, but really pretty neat. The way that you can, there's 5 sixteenths, the way that you can just measure in simple fractions for, you know, if you're doing just more coursework and, you know, I guess certain types of woodworking, those types of things, or just easier for you to have a uh, reading in a fraction. And I thought that is what kind of set these apart. And what really made them cool is I have not seen very many dial caliper or digital calipers that have three modes that have particularly the fractional inches. And then, of course, we have our normal metric measurements to hundredths of a millimeter. And then back to uh, decimal inches. And once again, my favorite, the fractional. Just super duper rare to have... Uh, fractional digital calipers and this is the only set that I've I actually have it's the only set that I've seen that actually will do fractions like that and I just thought once again super cool really neat functionality and really like that it has um, the primary numbers and a bigger and easier to read uh, font or s display size so it's easy for you to grab, say, 13 millimeters and just have it be just a little bit bigger than that. Or something you say that's a, you know, we know that that's going to be a half inch. And then we can look and we can see that it's 12 thousands over half an inch. So when you get used to a display like this, it's actually a bit easier to read when you have the different sizes. And then one last time, the super cool fractional mode. Anyway. So I don't think these are related to the normal Titan tools. I think it's just another company that's called Titan. And I think, you know, to get a working with a pretty tight jaw, that's what these two screws are. The two little slot head screws that you just use a precision screwdriver just to tighten down until it's the frame is really tight, but still can move smoothly. And this has another function I'm just noticing here. Obviously, with the really cheap Harbor Freight, you know, it doesn't work until you turn it on, and then it works properly. And I just notice about these Titans that it's auto on. So it's off. As soon as I start moving it, it turns on. Off. As soon as I start moving it, it turns on. That's a super cool feature, which actually makes them even better. It isn't just that it's fractional, but when you want to start using them, you just pick them up, and as soon as you move it, it turns it on. You don't even have to bother to hit the power button. That could be a disadvantage in certain situations if they get bumped around, but usually calipers and, you know, measuring instruments aren't something that gets bumped around a whole lot. And so I think that's kind of just a cool feature where you can just pick them up and just grab them and go. Now, if we start, we turn it off, we're at zero. As soon as we start going... It does zero itself back out. If we go up to or I guess any old position 
turn it off and if we start it up again here it does zero back out again so i don't know if it's doing an absolute measurement or if it's actually using a little bit of power from the battery always kind of maintaining its reading but I think that's just a super cool feature to have uh, calipers that automatically turn on. I mean, can't beat that. Anyway, you can beat it, but not for five bucks. Hard to do it for five bucks. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Cadis Maximus out.